Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video, I will be explaining how to change improper fractions to mixed fractions. I'm going to start with this slide right here and then we'll move on to questions. So when it comes to an example like one out of two, one right here is the numerator and then two is the denominator. But for the sake of this video, I'll be referring to the numerator as the top number and then the denominator as the bottom number. So improper fractions. It's simply a fraction where the top number is greater than the bottom numbers. So for example, we have seven out of three. The top number is greater than three. Same as this one where it's 29 out of 8, where 29 is greater than 8. Whereby a mixed fraction is when there's a whole number part of the fraction, and then there's a fraction part. So like example, we have one whole, 4 out of 9, and we have two whole, 3 out of 5. That's simply what a mixed fraction is. So this video is just going to explain to you how to change something like this to this in that format. Before we start examples, I just want you to remember this, that the top goes into the box. Whenever you get the question to change improper fractions to mixed fractions, you have to address it like it's a long division problem. Let's get to the first example. So we have seven out of five, and like I said before, you have to approach it like a long division problem. So usually we get confused about what goes inside and what stays outside. But remember before I said that the top goes into the box. So the top number with this example being a seven is going to go into the box. So I'm just going to start by writing this. I'm going to draw the box and the top number, which is... The 7 is going to go right here. So 7 goes here, and then the 5 stays outside. So this is not a division problem. 5 could go into 7 one time. You subtract the 5, you have a remainder of 2. Right? This is a regular division problem. So I'm just going to label it with 2 being the remainder. with one being the whole number and with five here being the bottom. So to write your answer, change this real quick. Your answer starts with a whole number. So this one right here is gonna be the first answer. So you write one whole the next thing is the remainder, which is 2 in this case. We're going to put 2 here over the bottom number, being 5. It's as simple as that. So we're going to put 5 here. So you always start with a whole number, which is this. And the next one is the remainder, which is 2 in this case, which is right here. And then the last one is the bottom number. When you're converting from um, improper fractions to mixed, always know that your answer here always remains the same as the original question. Whatever is here translates to this. So I'm going to do a few more examples. And I hope you do it with me because with math, you can't just watch a video and then think you got it. You have to actually work it out to see if you're getting it or not. So let's do number two. So number two, we have 10 out of three. We know that the top here goes into the box. So three is going to stay outside while 10 gets to be in the box. Approach it as a division question. Three goes into 10 a maximum of three times. So three, three times this three is nine. You subtract, you get 1, 1 being your 
remainder, three being your whole number, and then this other three, which we got from here, is your bottom number. So when we're writing the answer, it's going to be, we're starting with a whole number, remember? So it becomes three whole, then the remainder follows, which is one in this case, one followed by the bottom number, which is three. This is the three I'm referring to. This one that was in the bottom. So let's move to the next question. For number three, we have 23 divided by two. So two stays outside and 23 goes into the box. So two goes into two one time. You subtract, you have a remainder of zero and then this three comes down. Two goes into this three one time you subtract, you have one as a remainder. One is less than three, so you just leave it as that. And we have to write our answer now. So let me label this so it's easier for us to remember that this is the whole number, this is the remainder, and then this is the bottom number. So your answer then becomes the whole number, which is this, 11. So you write 11 right here. The remainder follows, which is one from here out of two, which was on this side. Let's move to the next example. Next example is 75 divided by six. So six is going to stay outside while the top being 75 gets to go inside. 6 goes into 7 one time, 6 times 1 is 6, you have a remainder of 1, you bring the 5 down, becomes 15, 6 goes into 15 twice with a remainder, 6 times 2 is 12, you have a remainder of 3. So before I write my answer, I'm just going to label it. 12 is the whole number, 2 is the remainder, and then 6 is the bottom number. So your answer becomes 12 from the whole number, and followed by 3 from the remainder here, and we have 6 from the bottom number, which is this. You can leave your answer as this. If you do not find this in the options that you're given, three out of six here can also be reduced further down. I have already made a video on this. So if you want to understand how to reduce fractions to the lowest term, I've already made a video on it. So please make sure you check that out. But with this example right here, 3 could go into itself once and go into 6 twice. And because of that, 1 out of 2 is the lowest term that 3 out of 6 can be expressed as. So your final answer then becomes 12 whole, 1 out of 2. That's it for now. I'm going to leave this example here for you to try it. It's 58 over 5. And your answer is supposed to be 11 whole, 3 out of 5. Let me know how you do and if this video was helpful to you. My next video is going to be on changing mixed fractions to improper fractions. And I'll see you in my next video.